All right guys, today we're gonna to be tropping the tranny on this one. We're switching it out with our donor one over here. So we're gonna quickly go over the steps. Um, first step here, we're gonna be taking off the, first disconnect the battery because we're gonna be taking off the starter so the positive's still hot. We're gonna take off this air intake tube. We'll have two 10 mils. Um, you'll have this little breather line that goes from the valve cover. Just take it off here. And that little uh, bolt here, I think it might be a six or seven mil, maybe something like that. But yeah, we'll start with that. And then we'll also, where I recommend starting this project at would be from taking out the axle. The axle nut sometimes can be really difficult. So I'd recommend try that first. It is a 36 millimeter, I believe so. It's too dirty, but that's, I believe 36 mil. If you have only standards, inch and seven sixteenths should convert straight over. So I'm gonna take that off, then we'll all jump over and do the axle nuts. Now we got the wheels off of it, the car is jacked up. Um, next, we're gonna be taking off the 36 mil axle nut. Usually it has a stake in it if this camera will focus. We'll take a chisel and a hammer, knock that out. See this one, someone's probably changed this, but we'll take that out. I'm gonna be using an impact gun. If you don't have one, what you'll have to do is put your wheel back on, but without the center cap. Center cap pushes out from the inside. So you'll have to knock that out so the cap is completely off put the wheel back on lower it back onto the ground with the jack stands off then you could use a socket and a breaker bar because if you try to do that right now your wheel is just going to spin so that's another option for you guys took the nut off so 36 mil took that one out um next bolt we're going to be taking out is the lower ball joint this one had a cotter pin in it we'll have one of these a cotter pin and that goes through here like a split pin and then locks it so you just take a pair of side cutters split it and then pull it out. Um, once that's done, we're gonna be taking off this bolt. I think it's 17 mil. And we gotta be separating this joint. This is tapered joint. So we're gonna take our big, big hammer and we're gonna hit right here. And then this bolt should, once it's taken off, take off the nut on the other side, always break the nut loose before the bolt. Take the nut loose and then we're going to be, that bolt should just come right up. Some people care. So 17 mil. Should be too tight. So we're not going to take it off fully because we're going to uh, be because we're going to be hitting this edge right here with a hammer. And the reason we're doing that because this joint won't come off there. So we're going to be hitting that with a hammer. It's if I didn't have this nut here, if I missed, which I might do because I have bad aim, I risk screwing up these threads. And you don't want to do that because pressing a ball joint is not what we want to do today. Uh, let's also take off the shock fork, like I said. You guys are probably in frame, probably in. Not! There you go. We should have done this before if I was smart. We're gonna take the, we're gonna push the snout of the axle through the spindle. Keep the nut on there, just give it a few taps. That'll keep it from mushrooming. I did spray all this down with lube, you guys should have too. That's gonna be a nightmare. We got that guy, that gosh darn axle nut out. Well, the nut was fine, it was getting the axle out of that spindle, so ended up just having to you see the puddle underneath it, just spraying it with lube, tap, 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 spraying with lube, repeating that process a lot. Um, make sure to take a wire brush afterwards and anti sees it. I did screw up the nut, but I didn't screw up the axle, so I just gotta grab another nut. Actually, I got another axle in stock, surprise. I actually have that in stock. Um, before we separate the axle from the tranny, I'll show you how to do that on this tranny. Uh, you would wanna drain the fluid first. So right here is a drain plug actually a bolt it just takes a 3 8 to drive so the same drive that your socket is caution this one is going this bolt is going to be tight so you put your socket on there you might need a pipe on this and it's going to break loose and you'll definitely hear break loose by the magic of youtube my bolt is already loose so put your catch pan underneath here It's normal to see a little bit, but uh, that much is a problem. In this case, we're also gonna be having to clean, just cause I don't like that, we're gonna be back flushing our 
transmission cooler, which is our radiator lines, but I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, that stinks too, man. That is bad. Easier when to take off this splash shield that's in the way. I took out half of it. First, you're gonna be dropping this bar out of the way. There you go, it's got a 12 millimeter here. This one I took out fully. The other one I just took out halfway. This bar will slide out and move out. We are also gonna have these clips here. These things are a pain. It's a Phillips head screw. So grab your screwdriver, wind them out. I'm just gonna be dropping half of it. I'm gonna take bungee cord, hang that out of the way. Now we can see our transmission, get to everything we need to, and then also access, well, make it easier to film when I'm taking the axle out of here. Right there. This thing's, as you see, it's the old, I guess, junk here, just ripped the axle out, but there's the axle. You gotta be using a pry bar. I screwed around with like, I've used screwdrivers in the past, but pry bar is the best tool in the job. You wanna get it in between the small little gap here and you wanna use like a punching striking kind of motion. It's a little bit hard to describe on the car. That's why I'm gonna be doing it over here. So once it's in here, easy as hell. In real life, it's not gonna be that easy. In this case it was, so. It's always easier when you film it, right? All right, so the passenger axle, the one that we did on this side here that I showed you a second ago, that one came out all right on this car, er, I mean on this side, I used my small pry bar to get in there. The driver's side, this one's connected to the half shaft, which is like a jack shaft, a metal one. Um, so in this case, you wouldn't be prying too much. What I was doing, I was taking my big old hammer, my two pound, that beast right there. I was just hitting it here, spinning it over, hitting it up. And this one came out pretty easy. Um, it might not in your case, cause I did the axle on this car and that thing fought me for about like two hours one time. So the hardest part about this job, I would say is the axles. Once the axles are out and free, it's all pretty easy after then, right? But make sure you get that out. If yours is stuck, I was thinking if this was my case, if it did ever get stuck, it bolts to the half shaft. The half shaft has three bolts, which you're gonna take out anyways. It's a little tricky to get to the bolts, but extension um, and a deep socket will get to it and a long ratchet, but there should be three bolts, 12 mil or 14 mil, I don't remember, but I'm gonna do that probably either tomorrow I'm gonna split this uh, job up. But you got <laughs> enough rambling. You can take those three bolts out, the half shaft is this long, so then you would have to take this whole axle and then slide it out that way. But once that's done, but that's another option for you guys if, you're half, if your axle gets stuck to your half shaft or whatever, but you could take that whole thing out as a unit. Break from underneath the car, I'm working above here. Um, the two cooler lines, so you'll see two lines here, one and two. I marked one. And then I, um, step I went up here, I disconnected the starter. It should be two 14 mils, one up top, one there. The starter has a 12 mil positive, and then the field wire is just gonna be a spade connector. So it's just a wire you just wiggle and pull out, and the starter will come right out. Next, you want to be, uh, next, you want to start taking off the wiring that's on the transmission. So take out your speedometer wiring your main uh, harness wiring here for this one. You're gonna have also other shift solenoids as well. And then two below, so take off the wires, unclip them. And then there'll be also little tabs, like as you see on this junkyard one, I'd recommend that's a plastic tab. They'll usually end up breaking. Just take off the 10 mil instead. That way you'll have a cleaner result at the end of this instead of having broken wires and then zip tying it to them. So up underneath the car, you'll have the inspection plate cover which has one 17 mil, then one, two, three 10 millimeter bolts. See those guys right there. For the 10 millimeter bolts, don't use a wrench. Don't use a wrench like this, a 12 pointer wrench. You're better off using a socket on that, like a six point socket, six point socket like this. I'll grab those bolts. For some reason, my wrench is really rounding those bolts. So definitely recommend use a socket instead of a wrench on those. All right, if you've seen this clip, I gotta remove those drive shaft bolts. So there's four bolts there. The two uh, on the bottom, you can get to the two on the top. You'll have to get to, I'll explain that in a way here. The bolts, so oh, these are the only specialty style fastener. It's a 12 point bolt. So you need a 12 point socket to remove this. I don't have any in my house here. So what I did is I used a box end wrench, the box end side of it, that's got a 12 point. 
And then I used a hammer just to hit on my wrench there to break it loose. Um, after I get the two bottom ones to spin over the drive shaft, this is where you want to be safe here. Where we dropped the transmission linkage in the clip before this, that linkage was in park, so you'll have to put it into neutral. We all know from going for a park to neutral, it'll be two spots down, so we'll go reverse to neutral. So click it down two spots, and then the vehicle will be in neutral and you're able to spin the drive shaft. Uh, be careful here, there's a chance that the rear wheels could push on this one. So again, be trip, double, triple careful here, but uh, per, in, a, in this type of vehicle, it won't due to the way this all wheel drive setup is set up, but this is where you want to be careful anyways. But here I put a pry bar in between, I use a long screwdriver to put it in the drive shaft there between the hole and just spin it over so it could access the other two bolts. If it's too hard, you're either not in neutral or it's moving the rear end. Um, you might be, if this is happening to you, you can jack up the rear end and then spin it from there. But uh, this is what I did. But again, be 100% careful doing this stuff because you can injure yourself if you do this wrong. Going this way, you'll have two up top. They'll be the ones that are these two up top. Then you'll have this one. And these ones, I just use a 17 long extension. These two are easy to get to. Um, this one right here is going to be tricky. So um, you can use a 12 point socket that might actually help you out a little bit better to get enough swing room depending how tight that is. Um, next step is make sure everything's all good. Then we're gonna be taking out this mount that's on the car. So I think two bolts right here, probably 17 or 19 mil. That's gonna sag, hopefully sag down the transmission a little bit. Then we could get the two uh, big transmission mount bolts out. And then hopefully we close to be calling it a day today then. There's one just going from underneath the car with those two big 19s there. There was a hidden 17 mil. I should have knew that. Um, I was trying to split the case and I couldn't even uh, get it apart so I knew a bolt was holding. So there it is. So with that being said, the biggest rage quit yesterday. I learned not to work tired. But uh, since we, from yesterday, we remembered that there's that extra bolt that I forgot. So total will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bell housing bolts. You can take out six, you don't have enough. And my dumbass forgot that on the... All right guys, good example. Do what I say, not as I do. This is just editing over the video here. That long ass bolt, uh, just crack that loose. Don't worry about it. If you look above it, there's two bolts that are two 12 mils that are much easier than doing it this hard ass way that I'm doing it. So just crack that 12 mil loose, but to get those two bolts from the, where they meet the engine and drop those out fully. And then you'll able, be able to drop this down. Okay, watch your feet. Piece of shit is out. Right there, buddy. Right there. Everything's in it. Battery's tight. Fluid's in. Uh, moment of truth. Uh, let's see. Let's see if she go into gear. Let's wrap it up the video here. Um, got more stuff on this vehicle. If you like um, what we're doing with this project, hit subscribe. Um, if you guys could leave a like, that just shows me that something's that you guys enjoyed this video. It's actually useful, unlike half the other garbage that's on YouTube. So leave a like if you can. I would appreciate that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like, it, got any questions, leave it down below. Um, any other info I missed out, I'll leave it in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.